Hello, today the Lotra TV team has visited the Person of the Year event, which takes place in the National Opera of Ukraine. This is a national-wide Ukrainian program that has a goal of uniting talented and active people from different fields of activities. 23rd Salem Ceremony, Person of the Year, 2018, to which the Alatra movement participants were invited. The Alatra TV team communicated with talented people from different fields of activities. Guest and nomination winners shared their sincere understandings of who is a human with a capital H. What are the qualities of a real man? What can we, people, do to ensure that only human good qualities would flourish in our society, planet, and ourselves? What unites all people, regardless of their nationality, place of residence, and religion? What is love in its highest sense? Inspiring live answers to the topic of unity in society, creation, and multiplication of the true deep value of every person, love. Indeed. Culture has always united people. Artists served as a bridge of friendship, a bridge of brotherhood between our peoples. I think we were always like the united friendly country. Our history consolidates us, and of course, we will be friends forever. Tell me, please, what makes someone a human? What is a human with a capital H? A human is the one who unites people, calls for love, sincerity and kindness. The common human qualities are common to all nations. This is kindness. Do good to people, be attentive to each other, always benefit and try to help those who currently need it. You should be in time to notice this, And, of course, respond on time. Make the world happier, kinder. We should call people for a true human life, kind and responsive. People shouldn't be indifferent. I think this is the most important thing. What unites us internally? Spirituality. This is our common value. I think this concept is the same in general for all nations of the world to be spiritual, pure, kind and attentive. And of course, an educated person should benefit people with his education. What is love in its true understanding for you? Love is the correct concept of life and precise assessment of it. Therefore, I think that a human who correctly understands life, a situation, he will always act sincerely. Therefore, I am glad to convey to everyone the most sincere good wishes of peace, kindness and happiness through your channel. The event is dedicated to the human with a capital H. And who do you think is a real human? And what is humanity? Actually, you always have to be a human. The human with a capital H. 
The person of the year is the one who is today. I was sitting in the hall, watching everyone who received this high award. These are really people with a capital H. People who have done a lot. I think that they are inherent in both humanity and professionalism. Such human should be sincere, should be, as in Belarusian language, shchuri. This is such a word that shows the whole human nature, all humanity, decency, everything that makes human being human, in the sense of the highest rank, of the highest class. Tell me, please, what unites all people around the world, regardless of religion, nationality and skin color? What unites? Love. Love and sincerity. Love, of course. And what would you like to wish all the Alatri TV viewers around the world? I would like to wish people to always respect each other, forgetting about the difficulties of life, make some compromises with understanding. I wish them to love their neighbors, love their country, love their people, and live in peace and goodness. Thanks a lot, and thank you for your creative work. Fortunately, we all live on examples. For us, there are examples in life, there are parents. In professional fields, we learn from our senior comrades. The most honored artists on the stage are the examples for others as well. Anatoly Yermalenko is one of those people. I believe Belarusian-Ukrainian friendship is based on people like these. What do you think each person in his place, in his society, can do in order for humanity to prosper? First of all, it is necessary to be honest and decent to people around us, regardless of their behavior, because everything is based on humanity, either it's in any worldview or professional activity. That's why the way we treat people around us makes people perceive one another or person. Let's say a fellow, a friend, or a colleague. First of all, we should treat people in a human way. This is love for life in all manifestations. God gave all of us a lot of qualities. It's necessary to be able to feel them with your heart. Humanness, mercy, non-indifference to everything that surrounds you. We all should be such people. This is our culture and we should convey these qualities to our children, because they look at their parents and follow their example. Dear friends, love for life is the main thing. That's why I wish everybody, first of all, to love this life in all its manifestations and to get inspired. And may the Lord bless us all for good deeds. I wish peace, harmony, and good feelings every day. Love life and everything will be fine. First of all, you need to be a human. And practically, everything is in this word. Human being, humanness, love. Those are the things that should be an integral part of a human being. Love is life. We are born in love. We wake up in love every morning. So every hour minute is love. Thank you for the warmth and sincerity. And tell me, please, what unites all people in the world, regardless of place of residence, religion, nationality? What do we all have in common internally? Love of neighbor, that's all. It is said in the Bible, and you don't have to invent anything. We are all brothers and sisters. 
Thank you. What would you like to wish the Lottery TV viewers and all people around the world? I wish love and sincerity. I wish tomorrow would be better than today and to believe that love will conquer. We thank God and feel proud. Great thanks! There are always strong, real people with a big heart next to me. And I always have a great example next to me. Could you please tell us, today's event is dedicated to a human, a human with a capital H, and the best human values. In your opinion, how do you feel? What makes someone a human? First of all, taking care of close ones is the human quality number one. It is Earth, it is the country, it is filled with good people. Therefore, I think kindness is in the air. The unified organization of our space, which should be highly humane, organized, developed, beautiful and respectable, these are all the conditions which we still prefer to live in, and these are the most favorable conditions for humans. Humanity is a human with a capital H. Everyone must do their part by participating in the social life of the society. Do good deeds, become initiators, apply your creative efforts, professional skills, in order to create, to create together. What internally unites all of us? It is love. Love rules the world. I will always say it and will die with these words. Love as often as possible. Love broader, with all your heart and forever. What would you like to wish to the whole world, to every person? Keep faith in beautiful. Believe in God. Love your kids. Give as much joy as possible. And always live by heart. Thank you so much. It was a true pleasure talking to you. Extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador of Austria in Ukraine, Hermine Popolo. Your applause. I would like to thank my colleague for the active work that they do with the entire embassy, of course, and wish them further success. At the end of the 2018, the Higher Academic Council declared the Ambassador of Austria as the best foreign diplomat accredited in Ukraine. The Republic of Austria can be proud today of its professional diplomacy. Ukraine is lucky that it has such an experienced ambassador, whose experience of being in diplomatic posts is 25 years. In general, the embassy is very active. As Ukrainian diplomats, we are not indifferent to how our colleagues today use such a term as cultural diplomacy, which contributes today to the image of the country. This is the same thing that we need to do, to find such facts that allow us today to be proud of our culture as well, which has traditions, has something that we can all be proud of. I think it's important uh, that we try to understand each other, listen and try to understand and try to help and support. Because only if all of us feel well, we will have a developed society. What makes us human is make, uh, living together and uh, helping each other, supporting each other. Um, and. I think that that is the most important thing. Well, I think everybody uh, starting in the family can um, try to, to make the life for each of us easier, to understand each other. Um, and starting from the family, it goes to the workplace, it goes out to society. Contributing to society is a very, very important thing. For example, I heard this morning that in Austria, the people who do voluntary work is a very, very high number. We have four million Austrians who uh, work in their private time, in their leisure time, for society. 
So I think this is also one of the most important things, not only work in your workplace, but try to contribute to society and to a better life for all of us. What can you wish to all of us? Open your hearts. That is the most important thing. Listen to other people. Look how others are living um, and appreciate what we have on earth in terms of nature, in terms of culture, in terms of human values. Appreciate all what we have. Hello, dear friends. I congratulate everyone on this wonderful event that takes place every year. Thanks a lot to all the people who participated in it. To be honest, I don't consider myself a man of the year. But those who helped me are my team, my family, Katarina Mikhailovna, my beloved wife who is here with me. Thank you, friends. I want to wish everyone strength and confidence in making decisions. Thanks, God, for everything. Tell me, please. What inspired you that's about this humanity, morality, to what extent is it necessary in society today? This is extremely necessary. Without these qualities, the society will not exist. The fact is that plenty of successful people who are in our country must sow cheerfulness, sow a smile, sow what is called do as I do and show good example. And at least some of our fellow citizens will necessarily follow this. What can you say about humanness? What is it and how important is this quality? By humanness, I understand both compassion and the desire, the ability to help your neighbor, and patronage arts and charity, and in the end, our common hostel. You know, long ago, when I was a child, People who lived in the same house, they knew each other, they could visit each other. I can't say that doors were held open in the hallways, but you could go visit each other. Today there is no such thing, therefore humanness should be revived in this regard. Everything is ahead. Everything was done for God's sake. Thank you all. Thank you. I like that a lot. Even the topic is very essential. Values are the most important thing for me. For me, values are honesty, dedication, loyalty, and professionalism, of course. But you see, professionalism, the foundations can nevertheless be studied, education can even be bought, but values cannot be. They either exist or not. This is not modest, because I want to be modest, but this is honest for me. This is the most important thing, and I think that you just have to be yourself, and that's it. Give examples, not orders. Just be honest and real. What you see is what you are. Let the people judge from the results and from the values. What unites us all internally? To keep thinking globally and to be modest. And I want to say that somehow you should be wise enough to understand local cultures. I do not want to say adapt, but respect. For me, a human with a capital H is first of all a great hard worker. You can work for a long time, and if you just manifest certain human values, such as kindness, participation, then there comes a time when people come to you and say that we want to work only with you, not with anybody else. Tell me, please, what do you think, as a person who communicates with people all over the world, what all of us, people living in different places, different nationalities and religions, have in common? It is hope for the best. Everyone wants to believe in the best. Everyone wants a better future. I am very pleased that at this event we can really see such people. Today there are other Rogovtseva, Alexander Zlotnik, Rosa Rimbaeva. These are people who have proved with their lives that kindness, the ability to feel with heart, work, all this is organically connected in the concept of a person who does something valuable, worthy that it gives people joy and thirst for life. 
this is the one who gives more than takes. First of all, I think that we should treat other people the way we want them to treat us. This is the very first thing. We should respect, understand, go forward and look for ways of mutual understanding. Tell me, please, what do you think, as a person who communicates with people all over the world, what all of us, people living in different places, different nationalities and religions, have in common? It's peace and love that they create the world, they create life. I wish people to live in such a world. What, in your understanding, is a real human, a human with a capital H? A human with a capital H is one who does good to another person, who does not envy other people, but tries to develop kindness and do something so that people's well-being was at the core of each person's work. What, in your opinion, each person in his place, in his environment, can do today to make society more humane? To love. To love humankind, to love people, to respect everyone close. And even maybe not close, your acquaintance or a friend. A person who wants to develop. And how do positive changes in society begin? Right from a person so that he had positive thinking and that he saw around, not the negative, but the positive and contribute to the development of this positive. First of all, I wish all people health and well-being and peace, not only in our country, but in the whole world. This is probably, first of all, a person who thinks about other people, because our world is so social and humanism, first of all, is the quality of a person that is necessary today to think about other people, not to be selfish. Indeed, we need to expand kindness, mutual trust, responsiveness and honesty, such popular qualities, but they need to be cultivated so that society could change. That's what we need to do. I think loyalty to yourself and to others is the most important thing that you can have in your life. So, loyalty, I would say, in many ways. It's your own core values. And what do you think each person could do in his place, in his surrounding, it's his workplace, so to bring these qualities to our society? I think most of our life nowadays, because of social media and fastness and everything, people are just on their phones and they are not appreciating the values that they used to have in the past. Talking, communicating to each other. And I think sometimes egoism, you know, if we take our narcissistic values sometimes a little bit more away and we consider to help somebody a bit small. And at the end, I think it is time and communication and helping. So being a good example yourself and not being egoistic, I think is the most important thing. What unites all of us internally? A very good question. I think I, I say love because when you are born as a baby, you don't have prejudices. You don't judge people. The older we get because of our society and the environments, we start to judge people. We start to think, we start to put people into certain categories. So I think you are born with an innate love without judgment. And if we keep that love, which doesn't, of course, you have to work, you have to be business, you have to fulfill your goals. But I think in the end is this being honest to yourself. That's the best thing you can do. Don't lie to yourself. How do you think? What is love in its pure essence? Что такое любовь в ее истинном, чистом проявлении? Very literally, channel. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Love is such a broad concept. You can love your motherland. We love our mother, children. We love what we do. And these are different manifestations of it, completely different. But this is love when it comes from your heart. That's all. Do everything with your heart and you will be rewarded. I believe that a person is humane when he in no case does evil, even doesn't think about evil. Tell me, please, what do the changes for the better in society start with? From society itself, it's very simple. From each person, when he doesn't expect that someone will come and change something or do everything for him, but when he begins to change himself. 
Tell me please, what unites all of us internally, all people on the planet Earth, regardless of place of residence, our nationality, our religion? It's very simple. Love, that's for sure. Love. Thank you. What would you like to wish a lot of TV viewers around the world? I wish us all love, goodness and peace. Who is a real human, in your understanding? You know, I think a real human is someone who has realized himself. Someone who knows what he is doing on this earth. Because in my opinion, the most important thing is when a person leaves something after him. Thank you. What values in a human are imperishable? Those that are eternal. Those that you value yourself. First of all, this is loyalty, this is faith, and this is honesty. When a person loves, truly loves, he will never allow to do evil to himself and will never allow to do evil to others. Thank you. And what can each person do to make humanity reign in society, so that humanity and kindness become the basic values? You know, you need to look into your true desires, you need to look into yourself. When a person realizes who he really is and why he came into this world, then probably everything turns out in the right way, his imperishability and everything else. What do we all, people, have in common internally? I think it's love and faith. Thank you. And what would you like to wish all our viewers to all people? I would like to wish all people not to be lazy, but to be greedy for new knowledge, to acquire new knowledge, and above all, knowledge about their rights and duties, including those in marriage and family. First of all, a human with a capital H is just a person who feels that he is truly sincere person who wants to do good deeds and works to make people's life more comfortable. First of all, you have to start with yourself. If you are more humane, if you treat people in a humane way, then accordingly, people also will adopt this good trait and also become more humane. Internally, we have one in common, that we are all people. This is first of all. And of course you need to live your life in such a way that to pass on your spirituality to your descendants so that they could also be real human beings. You know, I sat on the stage and the main reward in my life remains the greatness of the human heart, the ability to do good, the ability to support and help, as well as the opportunity to bring the light and peace into our society. These are the things, the foundation, that our society really needs. What can we do, each of us, in order to not lose, but to increase humanity, kindness, these best human qualities, so that they multiply? It is elementary, leaving the house, you need to smile to smile to people around you. First of all, it is necessary to think that neither financial success nor any achievements and rewards, medals, crowns are important in life. All of this is empty. The main thing, what is in your heart. Because a person starts from the heart, from his own heart, from elementary actions. We should learn to support each other, we should be proud of each other and help. We should learn this. Love is the ability to feel. What we have in common is that we are all humans, and when we are born, we really have the opportunity to change something. We are born with love in our hearts, and our main task and goal is simply not to lose this love, respect and support. And the task for all people is just to keep what we have in our hearts. And the most important thing, never forget that we are born as humans and as opportunity to make a change for the best, Everything is in our hands. I think humanity and kindness, first of all, this is a normal upbringing from childhood. This is what is laid and should be laid by our beloved parents. And all this is formed, probably, by big and pure love. If a person grows and lives in an atmosphere of love, then he grows up humane and a truly kind person. This is how it should be and the way we are all supposed to be to carry positive, good, and just hurry up to do good things.
It seems to me that human nature makes a person a human being. You know, lately, we are just trying to play, to be someone who we not really are, but a real human, in his essence, should just be himself. Humanity, kindness, generosity and heartiness are those traits that are inherent in a human being and need to be developed. And love, by its own nature, is in each of us. We just need to cherish it. That's all. The only thing that unites all of us, people, by our nature, in our essence, is the desire to live in peace, in harmony and in love, and to be happy to wake up and enjoy this day, because otherwise there is no point in living. And it seems to me that a normal person thinks this way, and in fact this is all he wants. I would like to wish everyone just to wake up and enjoy this day, enjoy life and live in the present moment. This is perhaps the most important. I am very grateful to the organizers. Ukraine needs such events. They give more optimism and make people better. What qualities should a society have in order to become more humane? You know, I think we need to add some spirituality. Let each of us do one good deed, and we will have 42 million good deeds. And I think this will be enough to change Ukraine. What unites all of us internally? We are united by love for each other. I think that each of us deserves happiness, and happiness is what is defined by all of us together. And I would like us all to achieve it this year. You know, I'm sure that humanity is when you're not only selfish about yourself, but you also share your heart with others. People who are not indifferent to the fate of other children and human beings are the people who have humanity. This is a human with a capital H, a human who does not only takes, but also gives. Don't sit straight, but go forward, educate yourself and lead a healthy lifestyle. It's not like that, you know, I fast, but have a dust-up with others. No, that's exactly what it's for. Kindly love people, love the world, love others and treat them with love. What unites all people around the world? Love. How do you implement it in everyday life? I wake up, pray a little, and I say with pleasure, I love this day. And the mood is something you need to adjust. I wish peace, inner and outer balance. First of all, thoughts, deeds, actions and desire to create and unite make oneself a human. Everything that is going on around us and every action that we do has a meaning. It is very important to understand what you do. It is not necessary to look for those who need help in order to become better, more humane. You just need to pay attention to the people who are next to you. Quite often they don't ask for help, but they need it very much. Don't be afraid to be misunderstood, to offer some help or to make it so that a person doesn't even know that you are the one that helps. Probably we should pay more attention to everyone around you and the world will become a better place. You will become better and, of course, everything around us will just be more correct, much better and more interesting. First of all, you should be a human and then, again, your possibilities will be greater and much more open. The more you open up, the more the world opens up to you. Dear friends, don't be afraid to do good deeds. Then it will all come back to you with a very big, big, big number of positive feedback. Laugh, smile, beget good. Don't think just about your own personal benefits. The most important thing is to love. May you have peace, love and warmth. A human, first of all, should do good. He should bring something bright, warm, open, in order to always remain smiling. If we live with a smile, with joy, we will always be humane. Therefore, it is necessary to be happy people. We should always create joy and celebration around ourselves. I wish people always remain humane and bring joy around themselves. Be happy and smiling. Who is a real human and what is humanity? First of all, this is what fills you from within. The thing is in positioning a person 
as a real, sincere, honest one with oneself and with the outside world. I wish everyone today finds a part of himself, opens it, and gives it to the world. In order for society to become more humane, I think it would be better to speak more about values. After all, people, when they differ in something, in some beliefs, they repel, they do not unite. And the values, the core values are all the same, such as love and unity. This is such a very big, beautiful, bursting feeling inside. You cannot explain with words, but you understand that you love everything. You are in the world, the world is in you. This is a very wonderful feeling. And if you recall it more, go into meditation for a moment and remember that you are in the world and the world is in you. How do you think positive changes in society begin? Then I am sure that there would be more love in this world. I think they start with our understanding of these positive changes because as the Bible says in the Holy Scripture, you will be saved yourself, the others will be saved. If you try to be 1% better, even a tiny bit more every day, week or a month, then you will be better by 12% in a year, and that is already a lot. And if every person would behave like this, to his goodness, to the development of some positive, good, beautiful, worthy qualities in himself, I am sure that the world would become better. Human with a capital H is, first of all, a person who has certain qualities, certain accomplishments. This is faith in God, love for neighbors, hard-working nature. He should work for himself, for his well-being, for his spirituality and culture. To be human is not to be animal. Sorry for such a rude word. You should respect people and to love them. And when it is hard sometimes, just smile, because smiling saves. It gives you a chance for recovery, so to move forward. What could you wish to a lot of TV viewers all over the world? Love, peace, prosperity, and happiness. Thank you. Thank you. I think that each people have his own way. And uh, it's very important to follow your own desire and to uh, do all for that. First, I think it's do. Care about each other. Because uh, if we are alone in that world, what can we do in real? Absolutely nothing. So I think that just care about people, that's the most principal thing. How do you see what unites people all over the world? Love. Of course, love. How we can live without love? To feel themselves alive. You know, when you are really alive, love each other, care about each other. If a person doesn't have light vibrations, it's just a creature that does not move forward towards his goal. And our goal, in my opinion, is to do good for humanity and to increase the number of such creators of good. We have no other choice but to be humane, to be compassionate, to help each other. If we do not understand our responsibility, what kind of people are we then? Because we can change, change by a thought, change by a word, and we can change by our actions. We are particles of a huge one. At least once, every person felt this unity. Someone felt it when he was a child, and someone feels it when he becomes an adult, or maybe when he discovers some new faucets of who we really are. I would like to wish more good, to create a world around us where it would be nice to live for you and for your loved ones. And of course, just create and live. I wish everybody joy and good. A human probably becomes a real human by his attitude to other people, by something good that he does and brings to the earth, the trace that he leaves behind, the joy that he shares with his family, with his like-minded people. This is probably the most valuable in human relations. You know, the greatest value is people in every country after all. Yes, it is not oil, it is not some other resources, but the people who create this country and who create every day. Tell me, what can every person do in his place, in his environment, so that society will become more humane? Look for some positive examples, 
for that purity, thanks to which you become a higher version of yourself. And probably this is the mission. What unites people internally on the whole earth? It is love, of course. What makes a human a real human? Probably this is in his responsibility for what he does, for how he lives. We must take responsibility for our actions. We should be careful about what we say in order not to offend another person. Also, if you have an opportunity to help, you should definitely use this opportunity, because it is given to you so that you can share something. Mutual understanding, yes, it is very important, we should understand each other. What do you think unites all of us internally, regardless of religion, place of residence on earth, nationality? It is love. How can we live without it? Love is kindness. It must always be cherished. Be humane, do good and love the people around you. Tell me, what is a real human in your understanding? A human with a capital H. Good afternoon. First of all, in any case, it is a person with certain moral categories, which society should be guided by, meaning we are talking about human dignity, of course, about his intellect, about the level of culture and his creative activity. If a person speaks, he should stand by his words, in case he works for the good for the positive. And how are people divided? There are creators, destroyers, observers. The more observers become creators and do something at least a little bit. When you are becoming a creator, not an observer, then everything changes around you. I can add that if everyone organizes the space around for the means of creation, attention, tolerance, and eventually some basic things that influence us on a daily basis in the positive way, then all of this will become one great positive area. The largest holiday in life is life itself. It's the joy of life, cheerfulness, resilience and desire to create. What would you like to wish a lot for TV viewers throughout the world? The biggest and the most important thing in life is to love, love life and love people. What makes a man a real human in your opinion? And who is a real human? First of all, human is made a human by faith in God, kindness and love. I wish that humanity would prevail in our country, that there would be peace. How do you think we can unite all people around the world internally? Jesus taught us to love. That's why it seems to me that all the people in the world can be united only by the sincere feeling of love. If you love the neighbor as yourself, if you treat him or her as a brother or sister, then yes, we can unite. Then we can unite by the common interest, disregard the language we speak or the continent we live in. Everyone will understand each other if the intentions are good. Everybody will help and unite for the common efforts. What do the changes for the better in society start with? Probably, if every person starts to change, if we are not even talking about some global things, but about basic ones. I think a person who wants real changes in society should change his attitude, but not require these changes from the others. Why can't you just say good afternoon, or give a place to a pregnant woman or an elderly in a public transport? It will be normal. It will be humane. Thank you. What could you wish all Alatri TV viewers all over the world? I wish happiness to all of you. Be happy and love. You have such extraordinary questions about humanity. This is what a common value is. By the way, we also thought about writing several articles for our magazine. It is necessary to take us to a completely different spiritual level. It seems to me that such projects like yours should change people's consciousness a little. Good goals are the ones we should follow. It's nice that we have journalism at such a level. Thank you. Nice to meet you. These are the participants from all over the world. This is just what we've told you about, the universal grain. 
This is one of Alatra International Public Movement projects. In this film, the survey was conducted in about 140 countries of the world, where ordinary people, passerbys, as well as scientists were asked. Everyone talks about these common values. When you see how people that don't know each other talk about this common, what unites us, all common cultural grains of different nationalities, religions, it inspires so much that people are ready for it, and there is a desire to show it even more. Serving the highest spiritual benefit, good, leads to the unity of the personality with its spiritual nature. All people initially have a common value, the spiritual riches. This is a guarantee of harmony and the commonality of purpose. This is what makes all people united in their deepest essence. Alatra Global Partnership Agreement.